up you guys so today i'm going to do and, <laughs> and i just forgot what tag i'm going to do but yeah i'm going to do the seven deadly sins of beauty tag and i specifically tag my beauty guru friends miss doria joy and miss lee so links are at the description box below if you want to check them out and if you do please tell them that i sent you all right so let's go on with this tag okay so when i'm looking there i'm just looking at my computer all right so the number one is greed and what is your most inexpensive beauty item and what is your most expensive i think the most inexpensive beauty item are my avon lipsticks it cost like 100 to 300 pesos and if they are on sale they could go as low as only 100 something pesos and they have a lot of colors to choose from so it's definitely value for your money and i think the most expensive um beauty item that i have are my lancome lipsticks and i'm very lucky because I did not buy those lipsticks for myself. My mom gave them to me. So yeah, these are my prized lipsticks ever. My Lancome ones. Alright, so next is Wrath. Alright, so what beauty products do you have a love and hate relationship with? And this is very easy because I have a love and hate relationship with foundations. I am not a foundation kind of girl. There was a time that I used a foundation as a concealer and it wasn't a happy time not doing that ever again. So I'm a concealer and powder type of girl and I feel that even though I found the best foundation for my skin type, it like it didn't push me to wear it every day because sometimes it's very heavy on my face i want my skin to breathe so yeah foundations the third one is gluttony and the question is what are your most delicious beauty products and i have two and i have them here and these are lip glosses or a lip balm the first one is a the urban decay what's this urban decay lip junkie and the shade is in cools and pumps and it just smells like cotton candy minty goodness oh my gosh it's like a cotton candy and a peppermint candy mix them into one you have this it's so awesome the smell is so awesome and it also has a tingling effect so it also plumps your lips so i got this together with my urban decay naked one palette and also this one is a drugstore one and this is lip ice i don't know if you've heard of this but do check out the description box below i have all the links of the products that i'm showing you and this one is just a lip balm at first it's just a white like a white lip balm but when you apply it it changes colors and it adapts to your natural lip color so everything looks natural it's like you have a very beautiful lip and yeah its smell is like cherry and strawberry I can't get enough of using this lip balm because it just smells so good. I would just like to bite it. It's very citrusy, it's very fresh, and it's from Lip Ice. It's very affordable. Alright, so the next one is Sloth. And the question is, what beauty product do you neglect due to laziness? Hmm. Yeah, on a regular basis, I don't wear eyeshadow because I just put on my concealer, my powder into my brows and then my cheeks and then my lips and then my eyes are just so bare. I think that the darkness around on top of my eyes and below my eyes are considered eyeshadows. They're like built-in eyeshadows because of my 
eye bags. So yeah, I think eyeshadows on a regular basis. And oh, I do not like putting on highlights. Yeah, I have a lot of highlighters but they're kind of neglected because I don't like putting like shimmer here like when the light or the light touches your face and then you illuminate. Well, I have very oily skin so if I put on highlighter, it could be too much. Yeah, so I think eyeshadow and highlighter. Alright, next is Pride. What beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? Hmm, I think this is pretty universal. No specific like brands, makeup brands. But what makes me feel confident is concealer. Like hands down, I can tell you that I can go out of the house with just concealer on. And I really hate that because I should go out of the house without even makeup on but yeah I don't know if you have watched my previews like skin videos but I have hyperpigmentation I used to not have hyperpigmentation but due to my really terrible breakouts I have them here and they're on the process of whitening and going back to their um like natural color like the color of my skin tone but they are still there and if i do not put on concealer on top of them they are so visible and they look like uh, that i have pimples when they are already flat and dry i really hate my hyperpigmentation and they are on my cheeks so yeah concealer and then i'm ready to go just concealer all right next is lust what attributes do you find most attractive to the opposite sex? Okay, so I don't know why this is included in this tag because it has nothing to do about beauty. <laughs> yeah, but I think I would like someone who is very witty, has a good sense of humor, and someone who challenges me because I get bored easily like oh yeah yeah okay moving on moving on yeah so if I have someone who would always assert what he thinks or what he thinks is right or anyone who thinks that my opinions are not right we would have a great discussion it would be very challenging and I wouldn't be bored so yeah witty has a good sense of humor and very challenging and also having good looks is not so bad yeah the last one is envy and the question is what items would you most like to receive as a gift oh i'm very excited for this question i hope the people out there who would want to send me a gift please send these items to me yes yeah, so first i would like to get a cover girl outlast foundation because it's not available here in the philippines and when i went to singapore to visit my brother i checked out their drugstore there and they do not have cover girl there so i don't know where I'm going to find that foundation and I badly want to try that foundation out and the second one are those Sephora eyeliners oh my gosh I have a Sephora eyeliner when uh, my mom bought me a Sephora palette like their smoky eye palette for green eyes and they have like a sample size eyeliner there and I'm wearing it right now the eyeliner there is so smooth it's so creamy and it does not budge I have very oily lids and that eyeliner did not crease on me so I'm very I'm very addicted to the eyeliner of Sephora. I'm wearing it right now and I would love somebody to give me give me some of that eyeliner. Any color but with that Sephora eyeliner. So that's it for the seven deadly sins of beauty tag and I hope you do this tag as well. I would love to watch all your tags and also don't forget to leave them as a video response. Also do check out the description box below because I have all the links of the products that I showed you here and yeah I hope this was helpful and I'll just see you on my next video. Bye!